Come on, it's, a, it's only been an interesting week for Prince Andrew. Um, as Esther said, he's been reportedly told he can no longer stay in Buckingham Palace. That's now happening. Uh, but he, he reckons he can clear his name. How, how likely is that? Well, according to the papers, that's exactly his train of thought. Yes, he's been... The, basically, Buckingham Palace at the moment is going through a 10-year refurbishment programme, which means Prince Andrew's suite was all moved out, cleared out anyway, a couple of years ago to make way for the renovations. But according to The Sun, all his stuff is not being moved back in. So he, if he wants to stay in London, he reportedly has to find somewhere else other than Buckingham Palace. In fact, the source told The Sun, uh, the king has made it clear there is no place for Prince Andrew at Buckingham Palace. Now, of course, this comes almost a year to the day, actually, since we heard that Prince Andrew settled out of court with Virginia Dufresne, who accused him of sexually uh, assaulting her when she was 17 years old, uh, uh, something which Prince Andrew has always denied. But he did settle out of Courts, which led to the late Queen stripping him of his military titles, his royal patronages. He's no longer a working royal. So perhaps to Buckingham Palace's mind and the, the King's mind, he's no longer a working royal. So why should they, the taxpayer, fund a suite at Buckingham Palace? But you're right, he is reportedly in consultations with American lawyers to he, clear his name. He said he's got evidence now, or there will be news coming forward to prove it wasn't there. Did he think there was going to be more from that Ghislaine Maxwell mm. interview where they're questioning the validity of the photo? Um, well, perhaps. I mean, Ghislaine Ma Maxwell is insisting that that photograph, which reportedly shows Prince Andrew with the young Virginia Roberts, as she was then known with the, um, Ghislaine Maxwell, is a fake. We don't know that as fact, but that's what Ghislaine Maxwell is saying. Virginia Dufresne has dropped a separate legal case against another man she has accused of sexual assault, which perhaps, um, to Prince Andrew's mind, has give, thinks he has, you know, his, some legs to stand on. But according to Virginia Dufresne, she very much maintains what she says happened to Prince Andrew. So I think we're going to have to wait and see on that one. There's been no official confirmation that he is planning to launch any kind of legal um, battle in the US courts, but he is in cons what consultation think, what, with what, lawyers. What do you think, what do you think Cameron, about, about... I would have thought the last thing that the royal family would have wanted was another court case, another legal action about all of this stuff, digging it all up again. I would, I would have thought they would have wanted it just to now go away and gradually disappear into, mm -hmm. into yeah. history. What, I mean, what, what will they make of this and, and, and is it you know it's, it seems difficult to pay somebody off and then come back and yeah. say actually there was nothing to see go exactly i mean it was almost history repeating itself in a sense because if you remember this time last year we we're in the run-up to the queen's platinum jubilee celebrations and according to you know, those close to Prince Andrew, if you believe what's in the papers, he was effectively forced into this House of Court settlement to make it go away. Mm -hmm. So the legal, very public legal fights which would have happened wouldn't have overshadowed the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. Now, a year later, is he going to try oh, and overturn they, this, to oh, over to sh is, turn the is, shadow of a coronation? To the king is that he will prove that he was innocent. The other thing is, I keep going back to this photo, which they say uh, is a fake one. Surely, by now, after all the investigations mm. that's gone on, you would have proved that. Somebody said they could have seen that it was photoshopped or whatever. Seems strange, they're pinning their hopes on this. Surely... They would have looked at it before. Well, I think many people have looked at that photo and studied it um, over the years. Glenn Maxwell maintains she's only ever seen a photocopy of the original photograph, so we don't know if it's real or fake. That's up to the, the courts and the legal lawyers to, to decide. But, yes, I think we just have to wait and see if he does Maybe launch any legal 